Hello there, good morning. This is Kakaki Social, I'm Rena Obozege. Now let's begin with the lifting of ban yesterday that um, the United Arab Emirates has promised to immediately lift the visa ban that was placed on Nigerian travelers almost a year ago following an agreement with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. As part of the agreement with the UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, Etihad Airways and Emirates Airline will also resume flights to and from Nigeria. The President Tinubu made the post yesterday on his ex account after the deal was brokered. And he said, given five um, action plans between the two of them, he says, immediate lifting of the visa ban placed on Nigerian travelers by the UAE to resumption of flight schedules in into and out of Nigeria by Etihad Airlines and Emirates Airlines without any immediate payment required from the Nigerian government. Also, an agreed framework for new investment worth several billions of US dollars into the Nigerian economy by the UAE government covering multiple sectors including defense and agriculture. Four, a joint new foreign exchange liquidity program between Nigeria and the UAE, details of which will be announced in the coming weeks. And finally, a commitment to normalize and enhance the relations between the two countries, fostered by the collaboration between myself and UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. So that was it yesterday on X. In reaction to this, Jami says, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for his exemplary leadership in personally heading our delegation to resolve this challenging situation with the UAE. It is with great admiration that I credit him entirely for the success of this endeavor. Also in reaction, Viva says, this is a pass mark for the Tinubu-led federal government. President Tinubu has shown that he has the ability to effectively engage in diplomatic effort and negotiations. His ability to prioritize and the interests and well-being of Nigerians has yielded positively here as Nigerians would benefit from the visa ban upliftment as it would enable greater travel opportunities, economic growth, cultural exchange or other advantages. But for Martin, it says two 120 million people begging 8 million people. That's putting the population of both countries in perspective. Ibrahim says, don't forget that the border is still closed. The petrol is 620 naira per litre. Unemployment, poverty, insecurity, ETC are still moving freely like hunger in the country. Not to talk of inept politicians and pen widened thieves. Now, away from that and still with Mr. President, the United States Federal Bureau of, Stat of Investigation, FBI, has announced its readiness to finally make public 2,500 documents relating to President Bola Tinubu in its database. Now, the agency earlier refused to, but the U-turn is in compliance with the Freedom of Information request filed by a U.S. anti-corruption website that is run by Aaron Grispan, and it was in collaboration with Nigerian investigative journalist David Hodein. The documents are expected to be made available in batches of 500 from October this year. So that means we're expecting them five times, you know, maybe from October to April or five months, basically from October. Then this is partly what it says. The FBI has identified a total of approximately 2,500 pages potentially responsive to the Freedom of Information Act request and then that's the number there and it continued to say that the FBI plans a processing schedule of 500 pages per month with an, an with an initial release anticipated by the end of October 2023. How did this meet netizens? Kel says why wait till after the judiciary has upheld his candidacy to release this? Also in reaction, Leverage says this is ridiculous to release only 500 pages per month starting from end of October. They are not serious. Why can't the 2,500 pages be released at once? 
For this user, it says, how sure are we that they have not manipulated the document? Not sure we are interested anymore, to be honest. The U.S. seems to be complicit in Nigeria and Africa's demise and appear to want us to remain under poor leadership. Also in reaction is this user also who says, they said he's free to be the president because USA aren't stopping him from entering their country. And in final reaction is Mr. Gray who says, the case is over already. There is nothing taking Tinubu from that seat again. Okay, to our final story, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesamweke, has again blasted staff of the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA, over faulty microphone when he was addressing guests at the flag off of road rehabilitation project in Abuja. Now, Wike, who was last week also angry at the same thing, wondered how the FCDA that is responsible for the execution of projects in Abuja can be successful at development when they cannot ensure something as simple as a microphone works. First of all, let me express my displeasure to FCDA. It's unfortunate, and that is why FCT, uh, FCT is where it is. If ordinary microphone, you cannot arrange ordinary microphone to work, how will FCT work? It can work. It's a shame. At this level, is where we are. And let me warn all those who are concerned, this will be the last time I will appear in the public function and I get this embarrassment. This should be the last uh, time. It will not happen again. It will never happen uh, again. If you don't want to walk, you leave. Okay, it's noted that it's never happen again. Okay, in reaction, this is on Instagram says, at this juncture, Nigeria needs this type of person as leader. Debbie says, if this is how we will boldly tell ourselves the truth, then I see why Nigeria will not be a better place, period. Also in reaction is Kunle who says, it shows the type of ruler he is. Talking down at a department you were supposed to be the arrowhead, the arrowhead zero leadership skills. And finally, Dr. Watts is asking, when are we expecting Wiki Band crew to resume duties? Oh, well, they may never come to Abuja. Maybe they are working with his um, successor, Sim Fubara. So, yeah. That's everything on Kakaki Social this morning. If you may reach out to us, our WhatsApp number is 0811-5436670. <laughs>